Well, hey everybody, welcome in. Let's check on what's going on for the Twin Flame journey this week. Let's see what's happening. Um, those of you who do my Wednesday Wisdom Live, we are gonna invite you in to the Thursday Live with all the uh, Pathfinders. Talk about spiritual path and everything because I am gonna be at an event Tuesday and Wednesday. So let's see where we go. I will try to do morning message for every day this week, but I might with, miss one, okay? I might miss one. All right, let's see where we go. I'll think of something, something fun. Okay, what is happening for the Twin Flame journey this week? First week of November, right? Right, we... <laughs> New moon in Scorpio, so things are going deep, right, baby? Yeah, things are going deep. Okay. Discovering truth, absolutely. Valiant courage. Taking shelter. The answers are within. So some of you are going on a pilgrimage. Some of you are going, uh, whether it's physical, physically, you know, traveling, or you're, <clears throat> it's an emotional journey that you're on, this is kind of important. The answers are within. I, I feel like, you know, if you're going out somewhere to find the answers, wherever you're going, whatever you're doing right now is going to point right back to you. Okay, it's gonna point right back to you. You're gonna see more about your own journey. You're gonna understand more about it. All right, so let's look at Divine Feminine first. I see that. One more, please. Let's look at Divine Feminine first. Ladies first. Nothing to do with gender. Okay. Um, how do I want to do this? Okay. All right. So the Divine Feminine is showing up as the Tenaka. I mean, I don't make the rules. This is the card that came out. <laughs> so pretty cool. Ten of Cups. That is a completion of a cycle. A beautiful cycle here. Seven of Wands, how you're seeing the connection. Uh, I feel like some of you have come to the end of a cycle and you have learned about boundaries. What is the high self saying? <laughs> the Divine Feminine is taking charge, baby. Taking charge subconsciously. What's going on? Levels of consciousness. Where are we? Wow, Hierophant, okay. So just a couple cards here for overall energy of Divine Feminine. Ace of Swords, wow. Page of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, Five of Swords. Okay, so um, Divine Feminine is taking no bullshit. <laughs> yes, Divine Feminine is taking no bullshit. <clears throat> so there's this beautiful energy of tradition but also taking action lots of masculine energy here so that makes me feel like the divine feminine has integrated or is in the process of integrating their divine masculine right this is a nice balancing card a beautiful energy card of happiness and joy uh subconsciously the feminine is is really in their truth um <clears throat> i feel like you might see them shift if you're not a divine feminine, if you're a divine masculine, I feel like you might see them shift a little bit here. Um, there's something new coming in for the divine feminine that is going to even more help them stand in their own truth. They may be learning some new things. This is happening quickly. Seeing, um, I think they're finally seeing people who are um, manipulative as manipulative. Like we're finally getting there. We're no, we're no longer like making it up like, oh, yeah, well, she means well. No, she doesn't. Okay, so a friend or something like that. I feel like the Divine Feminine is finally taking charge of her life, finally understanding that it is about internal union, right? The answers are inside. Cultivating your own connection to spirit. And we're at the end of a cycle. So that means we're also at the beginning of a cycle. All right? So what about the Divine Masculine here? Let's see where the Divine Masculine is. Wow. Wow. Showing up as the high priestess. 
Okie doke. Look at that. So interesting. That's the feminine side. <clears throat> excuse me. Of the spiritual connection. So the feminine has the masculine side and the masculine has the feminine. That's good. <laughs> I mean, you can label it however you want and putting a bad or good is duality. So we don't need to do that. But I feel like um, you can label anything good. You can label, label anything positive and it will bring up the vibration of it. So I'm just going to say like, wow, that's good. Oops, had a sneeze. Okay, so Divine Masculine is showing up as the High Priestess. You know, that is very much the energy of taking shelter. Okay, so let us let me show you this. This is the, the energy of that, of going inside and, and um, making decisions to switch out of timelines that are no longer serving you. You know, go towards something that works for you. And it's very, um, it's very much a quiet thing. Uh, Divine Masculine is not really seeking anyone else's assistance. Divine Feminine is doing the masculine thing, going outside of themselves to discover truth, right? To discover truth and then what they value. Also what they value, also what they want to stand for, okay? So Divine Feminine could be doing that. Could also be standing up against um, a bully or standing up against um, those who are ill-intended, could be a lot of different kinds of people uh, from the let's see how is the masculine seeing the connection wow the masculine is definitely seeing the feminine and the feminine might only be uh, not really aware of their spiritual power I find that hard to believe after all the conversations we've had but you might not be if you're a divine feminine you might not be aware of the full extent of your um of your power of your spiritual power the masculine is aware of it they definitely are um from the high self to the masculine eight of pentacles good work putting in the time and effort masculine is really doing that subconsciously for the masculine Sun. Wow. Look at that. The desire to be happy, to be free. That is really what's going on for the masculine right now. A couple more for the masculine and then I'll get the energy of the connection. Five of cups, five of wands, eight of cups, king of wands. Wow. Okay. So if there was, if there was, um, if the masculine was behaving more like the feminine, right? The allowing and the um, awareness spiritually of the other. The, the feminine is um, doing the masculine thing, going external. It's time to really pull back inside though uh, into their own authentic truth and see what, uh, and battle because of other people outside you, it's almost like the divine feminine goes, oh, okay, I don't need to deal with these numb skulls. I can, Numb skulls. I can do, I can work on my own authentic life. I don't need to deal with these people, with what's going on outside me. Ha ha! You're not real, right? Like I can choose to do that. The masculine has long ago decided that, all right, five of cups and five of wands, and they've walked away from that connection or that experience, king of wands. So the masculine has already done this. They're now coming into more connection uh, uh, into more uh, range of their higher vibrational connection. The feminine has already been there and is now embracing a masculine approach. Very interesting reversal here. So what's the energy of the twin flame connection right now? Look at that. All right. I just want you to look at that for a second. What does that make you think? What am I going to say? Mm -hmm. That's union. When the feminine embraces the masculine, there's an internal union going on, a 5D union going on. The masculine is mirroring that by doing the internal connection with their feminine. That's union, my friend. Wow. Wow. All right. Where are we going here? Holy cow. That's incredible. Two of Wands, 
Eight of Swords, Three of Wands, King of Cups. So despite this like major shift on both sides of the aisle here, both sides of the equation, Two of Wands and Three of Wands, we still have a mindset block, Eight of Swords. We still have some kind of mindset block, even though both of you are manifesting union, the manifesting of the union looks different than what you thought. The feminine thinks it's going to look like this. Okay. And the masculine thinks it's going to look like this spiritual connection. All right. The masculine may be closer to correct here. Um, but I feel like we have it. It's important that the feminine is integrating their masculine and vice versa. And there's still some fear. This is definitely the card of fear. We've got lots of eights here and lots of fives. So um, if you end up taking my numerology course, we'll, we'll talk a lot about that, about the energy frequency of each number. The eights are about industry, about taking action, about being productive, okay, in a certain situation. The fives are about change and dealing with other people's nonsense and regrets and loss and all of these things. The one that's missing is the five of pentacles. Maybe we'll see that in the extended part of this reading. Um, but whatever's happening here, this is a little bit of an of a, a breakthrough because the feminine now has embraced their masculine. The masculine now has embraced their feminine. And what we're getting to is this is a masculine in a feminine um, element, right? The king of cups is the highest level of cups. It is also a masculine in a feminine, in a feminine uh, energy of cups about speaking about um, one's feelings and things like that. I feel like there's a, when we get to the point of saying how we feel, that's a block for some reason, okay? That is a block where we're have experiencing all of this integration and yet when it gets to the point of actually saying something it's not there fool four of cups hanged man knight of cups um the reason for this is because the ma divine masculine i'm sorry the divine feminine now in union with internal divine masculine thinks it should look a certain way and a divine masculine feels it should look a certain way okay and it's really about it looking spiritually like this like the world card here and i also feel like some of you may be having some outside interaction or outside um connections with people who are kind of putting you down for your spiritual beliefs five of swords here especially the divine feminine um kind of telling you like what's all this you know what's going on with with you why is this happening you have to change your life you have to do you have to i have to i have to i have to okay so there's it could be family it could be friends it could be whatever but they're 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 talking you right into being stuck so if you have other people around you who are trying to get you to do something or get you, to, you know, into, um, let's find you a nice person, like something like that. I, I do feel like you have wanted that. I feel like some of you, especially divine feminine, who has this integration of divine feminine, divine masculine, really taking action to go out there and find their partner, find their soulmate, find their twin flame, find their flame mate, whatever it is. And... I feel like um, they keep getting stopped because of what they believe it should look like. That's really on the divine feminine side. On the divine masculine side, I feel like um, their whole thing, divine masculine is really about getting back in touch with this a high priestess realizing that that is their integration of divine feminine divine masculine seeing the divine feminine as really as they truly are and then learning maybe how to speak how to speak feelings um now that they're integrating their feminine side their divine feminine can they do that can they start to speak their feelings 
Um, I feel like both of Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine have had a lot of outside interference. And remember what I was saying to you about going outside looking for the truth when the truth is really inside you. That's what I think we're learning here is the feminine is now going to embrace their internal divine feminine, divine masculine and not go with what the crowd does, okay, or what the crowd thinks about this connection. Same thing with divine masculine. Um, so you guys are on a parallel track here. This is really kind of nice. And you've manifested it, but there's some, there's one little block here. One little block, okay? So we'll explore that. I'm also going to dive deeper into a couple of um, zodiac signs in the extended, if you're so inclined. Uh, Aries, Aries, Taurus, Leo. Aries, Taurus, Leo, Pisces. Right? Aries, Taurus, Leo, Pisces. I'll take a look at those in the extended, okay? All right, Twin Flames, um, if you're part of our Twin Flame group, the rest of the reading starts right now. If not, there's a little link below if you want to continue on. See you over there.